love that song, and I love that song for a variety of different reasons, but especially because of the story that it tells, and how wonderful it is to have fellowship time after Sunday school, and not during the ride. Beat it! You guys are getting so good. My favorite verse in this song is verse 3. Long my imprisoned spirit lay, fast bound in sin in nature's night. Thine eye diffused a quickening ray, I woke the dungeon flame of light. So often, we feel trapped, or we think that we are already there, and then you have that, that moment. My moment happened when I was in my early 20s. I had grown up in church. I was very confident. I thought I knew a lot. And then my parents got divorced. The church was unkind to my mother after that. And I was jaded for a long time. But during that time, I had a redemption period while I was on staff as the director of worship at a small church in Macon. And it was during that time that I realized that I was still laying imprisoned. And I didn't know it. But I had that woke the dungeon flame with light and I got up and my heart was free and I let go of so much of the stress and anxiety and contempt that I had for so many of those people at that church that I used to consider so close who were so unkind, especially to my mother. But then it's one of those things that you have to remember it's not about me and it's not about you. It's about what's been done. And me harboring resentment did nothing for my character, and it did nothing but tear me apart a little bit inside until I realized that was part of what my frustration was. And this next song is one of those continuations of that. Satisfied. This is another one of my absolute favorites. You guys have heard that many, many times. <laughs> The last verse is, well of water, ever springing, bread of life, so rich and free, untold wealth that never failed. My Redeemer is to me. Then we go into hallelujah, he has found me. The one my soul so long has craved. Jesus satisfies all my longings. Through his blood, I now am saved. It is not through our works. It is not through our goodness. It is not through our power. It is through the blood. It is through that sacrifice. And it is through us releasing, us dying to ourselves, picking up our cross and following him, the one who did it all for us. We can be satisfied fully. And that gift is eternal. So if you would stand. Let's find your right and satisfaction with us.
song is Christ the sure and steady anchor. And that solid force that holds us is something that we cannot let go of once it has us. In Hebrews first, or chapter 6, 16 through 20, for people swear an oath by one greater than themselves, and with them an oath serving as confirmation is an end of every dispute. In the same way, God desiring even more to demonstrate to the heirs of the promise the fact that his purpose is unchangeable, confirmed it with an oath so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who haven't taken refuge would have strong encouragement to hold firmly to the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, a hope both sure and reliable, and one which enters within the veil, where Jesus has entered as a forerunner for us, having become high priest forever, according to the order of his death. Hope that is sure and steady, dependable. 
the theme of the song is that despite the storm, despite how you're feeling, despite what's going on, there is a sure and steady anchor. During the fury of the storm, you are held and you are safe and you are secure. Because it is not about how strong you are. It is not about how good you are. And a lot of days I feel like I'm pretty strong. And I do all right. But that does not hold me secure. That is my challenge to you this week. Look for those opportunities. Think about when you're feeling maybe a little bit too arrogant or you're just a little bit grumpy. Pull yourself away from it and remind yourself how good this gift is. That you have a sure, steady, dependable anchor that will not let go. Thank you.